Okay, got a couple of broken uh, current measurement stuff here. I've got the amplifier, as I said earlier, and this uh, melted probe that goes with it. Um, both of these were damaged in separate incidents. This one was just overheated by measuring too high a uh, uh, current at high frequency. Just overheated the transformer and melted. Um, this one was damaged when someone was measuring a live uh, wire and they clipped the probe onto it, but no one, they didn't notice that the core on this is metal and it's connected to ground. So the large fault current flowed when that short circuited and it blew the uh, amplifier in some way, although apparently the probe, that probe is still okay. And this probe, although it's a bit ugly, does work enough to be able to test this amplifier. I plug this into a good amplifier and this does measure a signal, although the accuracy is all shot because it's melted. Uh, anyway, let's uh, start opening this up. Actually, let's uh, just show what it does first. Gauss, it goes all crazy and starts flashing the lights. Let's see what it does. You put an AC coupling, it just goes all the way off to the sky. Let's just run a current through it and see what it's actually measuring. Okay, I've got this measuring heater current. Um, also got the good uh, current probe, that one, measuring the actual current. And here is the um, result. The good waveform, um, that one turning on and off, is the real current, obviously. And the other one is the output of the uh, broken probe. Looks like the um, it's picking up some of the high frequencies, a little blip is being picked up correctly, but the other part of the waveform is sort of uh, reversed. Switching to, um, that was AC coupling, DC coupling works, AC coupling is pushed down somewhat. It's almost like the um, high frequency current transformer portion of the probe is working, but the DC Hall effect portion isn't. Okay, let's see. And lots of shielding, all shielding. I have to take off the uh, cover here. Okay, and here it comes. There we go. All just one big board and probably a power supply underneath it. Let's see, there's the input connection from the uh, connector from the current probe, BNC output. A um, bunch of relays to switch, probably switch in coupling and attenuation. Um, power supply, various logic. That's probably not the high speed logic, there's um, some sort of analog devices part here, and more power supplies, and even more power supplies. Oh yeah, I was going to go over how these probes work uh, before we go any further. Let's take a look, <clears throat> let's take a look at mm. Let's take a look in a little bit more depth. Uh, let's take a slightly more in-depth look at how these uh, Hall Effect current probes work. 
Uh, if we look at the probe itself, it's got a magnetic core going around the uh, wire. There's a coil around it which looks just like a uh, current transformer. And if you look at this diagram I've drawn, that looks that's just like a current transformer. You have an unknown current going through the uh, core that induces an equal number of amp turns in the uh, sense coil and the output current is the uh, input current over the number of turns. The problem with the current transformer is that it works only with AC currents. If you try to apply DC the, uh, there's a slight voltage uh, dropped across the coil, across the resistance of the coil itself and the uh, output load and that allows flux to build up in the core and once the core saturates the uh, transformer stops working so what they do is add a little circuit they add a gap in the core with a Hall effect sensor that measures the magnetic flux um, the output of that voltage is amplified and driven into the uh, uh, end of the coil that's normally grounded so when flux builds up in the core this uh, amplifier has quite a high gain so a little bit of flux results in a uh, decent amount of voltage in the output and that compensates for the uh, resistance drop in the coil and the output voltage and that ensures that the um, amp turns in this coil is always equal to the amp turns in the uh, uh, measured current so that's that allows the uh, probe to measure DC and in the case of this probe the uh, probe tip itself contains the current transformer and the Hall sensor and the uh, amplifier um, contains this uh, amplifier parts and also some attenuators on the output to select what uh, gain the probe has, how many amps, how many volts it puts out per amp. I think we can see the, uh, I believe the amplifier is this chip here. It says power amp out right there. So that might be what the problem is in this probe, in this uh, amplifier. When we were looking at the output of the probe earlier, um, it had output, the high frequency measurement function seemed to work, which indicates this transformer was working, but the DC or low frequency component uh, measuring uh, function wasn't, which indicates this amplifier may be damaged. So that's where we'll uh, start looking first. Okay, so if we probe uh, Hall power amp output, it's getting no signal. The, um, the sine wave is the measured current from the uh, working probe, and the other one that's doing nothing is the uh, power amp output. Also, look, there's another one that says Hall V detect. Let's uh, check that one. I assume that's the Hall sensor output voltage, which is has some DC bias. Turn the volts per division up, and it has some AC wave component to it. It's almost like it's rectified. It's, it has peaks at the positive peak and the negative peak. Hmm. Let's continue debugging. Maybe look at the um, probe itself. I notice there's only four connections going to the. Uh, current transformer is probably the two transformer outputs plus four connections for the Hall sensor. Two voltage, two in power inputs and two uh, differential signal outputs. Okay, I think I figured out the connections on this uh, sensor. These two, I think, the those two are the outputs of the transformer. So they seem to be mat impedance and match traces. They go through this transformer inductor thing here and then out. The other four and in the T shape, I think, are the uh, Hall sensor connections. This one is getting uh, about 2.6 volts. Uh, that one is getting minus 2.7 volts. And the other two have a uh, differential signal across them. That one is, uh, you can see the phasing, and if I swap it to the other one, the phasing is the other way, so that's probably the Hall sensor output. So all appears to be working. There's probably something in the amplifier that we need to start looking at. Now I can at least figure out, know these voltage levels. 
it starts about one volt with a bit of offset, a bit of, a bit of, a bit of signal. So we can start figuring out where, which pins those are going to. Let's just start probing around in this one. That's not it. That's not it. That one looks like it. There's another one right near it with another resistor, and that does appear to be it. So there's these two little resistors right here. Those are the outputs of the hall sensor. Let's go across a capacitor and into this uh, IC. So let's see if we can trace where the signal's going from there. After probing around on uh, this chip a little bit, I found the amplified hall sense signal on the pin uh, 1 and pin 14. So you can see we actually have a proper uh, signal representing the uh, current there. So that looks like to be the hall effect sensor output, which is taking care of almost all the low frequency 60 hertz component. Now, this chip is a uh, Burr Brown low noise low distortion instrumentation amplifier. Just a few op amps. So now let's trace, keep on tracing the signal and figure out which chip is not working properly. Oh, good progress. We got a signal out of it. Um, I traced the uh, signal from uh, this uh, uh, differential amplifier to this uh, quad analog switch to um, this pin right here, which has the signal, and I found the uh, the switch for that was off. It was uh, in the opposite one, which turns off the switch. So this other node get, does not get the signal. And when I pressed the calibrate button, it this was went from high to just a little bit less than uh, went from five volts to about four point five, so indicating there's a short or partial short to VCC somewhere. So I lifted the pad. If I touch the probe to the pad pin to ground it, that turns on the switch and that gets everything working again. The uh, power amp output uh, gets a signal. Um, but something's wrong with the gain because uh, this should be 10 amps per volt and it's currently something like 25 amps per volt. So I think something is still broken. These uh, Something still has to be adjusted here. I think the thing you have to uh, it has to calibrate itself to actually work properly. So we've got to trace, figure out where this signal is coming from. I think it's coming from somewhere over here. And figure out what's blown and what's making the signal not uh, go down to ground when it needs to. So stay tuned for a later video where I'll continue uh, trying to fix this. And if I'm able to get it working, it might actually be worthwhile to buy a probe for it. It's a very nice uh, current probe. Anyway, thanks for watching.